and tell me a little bit about that. Um, it was a Tower Hamlet's um, creative writing short story competition and you had to um, retell a story or use characters from a traditional tale or a fairy tale to make your own story mm -hmm. and I won first prize in that. Oh wow, Hamlet. so what was your story about? What did you, what fictional character did you use? Well I used um, the three Billy Goat Scuff mm -hmm. and I used a troll as well Okay. and I changed it a little bit. Oh, okay. I wish you had bought me a copy. I would have loved to read that. What was in the story? What was it about? Well, it was about what happened in the further job of the troll and after he got butted halfway across Lincolnshire by the um, great Billy Goat Gruff, then mm -hmm. what happened to him after that and then what um, jobs he had to take after that and helping all the people. Oh, what? The troll helping people? Yeah, and then he got um, a reward of a nice feast of chicken uh, mm -hmm. or, um, and sometimes for a special treat he got salmon. Oh, wow. You know, salmon is actually a special treat for us humans, let alone trolls. <laughs> so a little bit more about the story competition. So when you're writing the story, um, how did you come up with this? Like, because no one's written this before. Like, this, you were obviously the first person to write this about the troll moving on, having jobs, etc. How did you think of it? Well, I was looking at fairy tales and um, I thought of the three Billy Goats graph because it's, um, people do know it, but sometimes a bit unknown. Mm -hmm. So that's why I thought to change a little bit of that because usually the main thing about it is when um, the goats grow across the big mm -hmm. bridge and then... Okay, they... so I think we have a caller on the line. Hello? Hello, who's speaking? Hello, um, I'm Nathan's Joy. Hello. Yeah, I'm watching the show and everyone's looking fantastic. Thank you. And the dancers, I like the dancers. And yeah. Yeah, I really like everyone's dancers. That's great. So what do you like doing in your spare time? Um, I sing. Oh, wow. So you sing. So do you want to give me a quick two-liner snapshot of your beautiful voice? Uh... Wow. You were singing about not being able to sing and you have that voice. The irony there is just off the roof, out of this world. You sang absolutely amazingly. Thank you very much for your phone call and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. So, back to Tracy. How you just told me, I found out that one of my favourite shows on ITV is the Paul O'Grady show. So I find him very funny. Like, He's so, the way that his jokes are just hilarious. And then he has these cute little dogs on his show. And then he brings them out and you're just like, oh my God, they're so cute. And I just found out you're going to be on the Paul O'Grady show. So tell me a bit how, about how that came about. Um, two weeks ago on Thursday, um, people from the Paul O'Grady show, the film crew, they came into our school to do an interview on some children in year five. And they, it was a recce. I like an audition to, mm -hmm. and then they were through hundreds and thousands of other schools competing to try and get a place in the Paul O'Grady show mm -hmm. and um, our school got picked and but unfortunately only limited children are going and I'm one of those children Wow going on that is actually quite an achievement so when is this when can we watch this show you can watch it on Wednesday the 6th of May at ITV 1 103 at 5 o'clock do you know what I'm going to tune in because I actually can't wait to see this this is actually going to be so fun so do you know what you, what things you're going to be doing there it's going to be about the election because it's the day before the election and we're going to be talking about different political parties and politics mm. too. So is it just you going from your school or are there other people going? And there are four children from our school, oh, two boys okay. and two girls. So you guys can go together and experience this thing together. Actually, you have to call into the show next time and let me know how you felt about that occasion because, okay. you know, this is actually really interesting and I want to find out because obviously I watched the show. 
But I want to see what happens, you know, you can tell me all the secret gossip behind the scenes, you know, what the, what's Paul O'Grady's favourite food that he eats in his dressing room and what the, how, how fluffy are his dogs, you know? <laughs> I want to know these things. So that's really cool, that's quite an achievement and you're only 10 years old yeah. and you've already achieved so much, that, you know, so if, so if I was to write like a CV in my, CV in my head for you guys, you know, I'd be like dancing tick, you know, great in school tick, Paula Grady show tick, and then, you know, all this other stuff. But another thing that I need to clarify is poetry. So will you be able to recite a poem so then I can chuck that in your little CV that I'm writing in my head? Okay, should I stay on the stage? Um, no, you can stay here. Um, or if you want to stand in the middle, that's fine. But what are you first, first tell me what are you, what,